Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, as you can tell by the title and the thumbnail, this is going to be another piercing related video. And in this video, I'm going to be talking to you guys about the foods that you can eat and the foods to avoid with a healing tongue piercing. So definitely hands down, tongue piercings are probably one of the most um, interesting piercings and probably the piercing that you commonly see the most questions about besides belly button piercings. At least in my opinion, I'll usually have people either ask me about belly button piercings or tongue piercings. So I really try to be as informative as possible here on my channel for maybe those of you who don't know what you can and can't eat or your piercer didn't tell you what you can and can't eat and you're just kind of looking online. Hopefully this video is helpful to you guys. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So typically for a tongue piercing, it can take up to two to six weeks about to fully heal. Tongue piercings are generally the quickest healing piercing. The tongue is a pretty strong muscle and it does heal pretty quickly. Like if you've ever had like a swollen taste bud or you've ever bitten your tongue or anything like that, you do notice that it does tend to heal over rather quickly. So luckily tongue piercings are very easy to heal if you do everything correctly, but the healing process can also be kind of a pain in the ass because not only do you use your tongue to talk you use it to eat chew your food drink you know whatever we use our tongue in literally everyday life so when you have a piercing in there it can kind of make the healing process a little bit of a bitch I do have a full tongue piercing playlist here on my channel where I basically talk about you know the healing process changing it how to change it how to clean it you know everything like that so if you guys are interested in that just go ahead and go onto my channel and find that playlist or I will have it linked up in the corner for you guys if you want to get a little bit more information but one thing I do want to say also is when people do get their tongue pierced some people really struggle to try to learn how to eat and some people People don't have any problems at all like I've known some people to go and get their tongue pierced and then they went out for a steak and burger dinner that same night whereas some people struggle to take a simple sip of water so it really kind of all depends on the person um, me personally I did kind of struggle to learn how to eat because not only is my tongue piercing closer to the front of my tongue than in the back but also because you do have such a long bar starting out it is kind of hard to eat without it flopping around your mouth or you accidentally biting it another thing I want to quickly say before we get into this is if you do have a healing tongue piercing yourself make sure that you are rinsing and or brushing your mouth and your tongue after every single meal it is very very important or after every time that you smoke um, I really wouldn't recommend smoking um, cigarettes with a new tongue piercing just because like that's just a lot of nastiness in your mouth um, if you are gonna get your tongue pierced and you are a smoker I would recommend quitting for at least a week but also make sure that you do rinse your mouth either with salt water mouthwash or even brush your teeth in your tongue after you eat smoke you know anything like that also make sure you stay away from any sort of sexual activity that has to do with your tongue for at least a couple weeks you know just to make sure it's better to be safe than sorry so foods that you can eat with a healing tongue piercing if you are having a hard time basically anything soft so basically any soft foods would be like applesauce mashed potatoes ice cream um, crushed up ice and I know this kind of sounds like like what nutritious kind of diet is that I know it is rough it does kind of suck but you know it really does help and it really is a good way to eat without having a lot of pain going to your new piercing and it is a way for you to still eat and intake stuff so me personally I really enjoyed eating applesauce and soup and mashed potatoes um, for meals pretty much and then I would crush up ice or I would blend up ice in the blender and that would really kind of help with the swelling and the pain because ice obviously is good for swelling so I would basically just like eat ice chips after I would have some soup or some mashed potatoes and yes even when you do have soft foods it can still be a little bit difficult to kind of eat with it just takes a lot of getting used to but I promise you will eventually learn how to eat and talk and do everything just like you used to do it just it's just kind of a learning curve kind of retraining your body and your tongue how to do everything after getting the piercing and if you are the kind of person who can't stand eating that kind of stuff I do totally understand if you're the kind of person who has to have a full hearty big meal just make sure that if you are gonna go down that route make sure you one chew very very carefully make sure that you cut up the food into very very small pieces don't shove your mouth full of food and try to chew it all at once because you will risk either hurting the piercing or 
you will risk biting down accidentally on the really long bar and possibly chipping a tooth. Chewing one piece at a time, taking sips of water to kind of help it go down and kind of swish out the food from the tongue piercing area. And then I also have a list of foods to avoid when you do have a fresh tongue piercing because there are certain foods and drinks and liquids that you shouldn't be drinking or eating with a tongue piercing. The number one thing is eating anything that is super spicy and super acidic. So no lemons, no Mexican food, nothing with like hot sauce or anything like really spicy. And the reason for that is that can just cause a lot of irritation to the tongue and your piercing because not only is your tongue already going to be a little bit irritated from getting pierced but just eating anything like that is going to cause a little bit more irritation another thing is any hard food you don't want to eat a whole lot of hard food because typically like if you're eating like an apple or a peanut or a walnut or whatever the case may be anything that's hard whenever you're biting into it it does cause you to chew a lot faster and it does cause you to chew a lot more and you definitely don't want to accidentally either bite too hard or accidentally bite on the tongue bar like I said and possibly chip a tooth because that's just not good so just try to avoid any of that stuff another thing is I will say is make sure you avoid any liquid that is too hot so don't drink anything like super hot coffee super hot tea super hot lemon water um, make sure that everything that you're drinking is either cold and or room temperature and I learned this from firsthand experience and I learned this the hard way because I think it was on day two or three I think it was day two of my healing process I was over at my mom's and I was drinking hot chicken broth um, it just kind of like a soup soup drink I guess you could call it and she got it out of the microwave and gave it to me and I just started to drink it right away and it was very very hot and what had happened was I had a few taste buds around the piercing get very swollen and very irritated and that eventually around day three four and five my tongue got huge my tongue got so incredibly swollen all from drinking a hot liquid and my tongue was very tender um, just because all of my taste buds had gotten burned and really inflamed and really swollen. Water and tea and all that kind of stuff is fine. I just personally wouldn't recommend drinking it while it's super super hot because you're gonna learn very quickly that that shit sucks and it fucking hurts. Okay guys, and that is everything that I have for this video on foods you can eat and foods you need to avoid with a new healing tongue piercing. Again, this video was short and sweet, but I really hope it was helpful for any of you guys. If anyone out there has any questions, maybe go and talk to your piercer or leave it in the comments and maybe someone else can answer your question in the comment. I just wanna make something very clear. I am not a professional piercer. I just do these piercing videos based on my own personal knowledge and my love for overall piercing. So if you guys have any concerns with your piercings or you don't really know if it's healing correctly, make sure you either one, go ask your piercer personally and have them look at it for you or go onto my channel and look up a couple more videos that will maybe help you. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you give it a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to go down and subscribe. If you are new here, I just wanna welcome you to my family. I do upload every three to four days on this channel. Make sure you check out all my social media links linked here and in the description box but until then i will see you guys very very soon in my next video i love you guys bye